I'm Brad Means. Thanks for joining us. This coverage you can count on begins with Vice President Mike Pence campaigning in Grovetown. He stumped for Brian Kemp in his run for Georgia governor. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne was at that event. And Ashley, the polls have this race pretty tight. Oh my goodness, Brad, and the polls are changing minute by minute. Last I checked, Stacey Abrams at about 47%, Brian Kemp at about 48%. I think it's a 1.4 spread. That is just crazy close, which is why we have such big names campaigning for both of them. The Vice President of the United States here in Columbia County today campaigning for Brian Kemp. More than a thousand people showed up here in Grovetown to see the vice president campaign for Republican candidate for governor Brian Kemp. We will make Georgia and America safe again. And to get here, some got in line hours early. God had a hand in 2016 election. He's got his hands in this 2018 midterm. Bill Thweet, one of the last to leave. We've got to get away from his socialism, liberalism and all this stuff that's just dividing our country. And Stacey Abrams, the name the VP attached to those ideals. Disapproval and booze from the crowd at the mention of a blue wave coming to Georgia. Well, let me tell you something. If that's the blue wave, it's going to hit a red, white and blue wall come Tuesday, November 6th. Vice President Pence mentioned the celebrities backing Kemp's challenger. Well, I'd like to remind Stacy and Oprah and Will Ferrell, I'm kind of a big deal too. Friday is Brian Kemp's birthday, and according to the vice president, the gift he wants from Georgia voters is four more years of Republican leadership. Brian Kemp said this governor's race is a battle for the soul of our state. The vice president saying that Stacey Abrams and Brian Kemp couldn't be farther apart on the issue. He also asked the crowd to pray for America in these divided times. Live in Columbia County, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6.